have a surprise. Cammy is pregnant. Cammy is pregnant. Tomorrow is her um, x-ray scheduled at the vet. We're gonna get a puppy count. A little late in the game, but to be honest, it's a surprise litter. Um, Chase worked his magic and um, details I guess are not important, but Cammy is pregnant and it is noticeable. <laughs> So not exactly what we had planned. Typically we would have liked to have waited and skipped a cycle, but that didn't happen and we're gonna make the best of it. We've got a couple days until her due date. She's doing wonderful. She's actually looking at us right now wondering why she can't be in the shot. But um, I'm gonna hand the camera over to my assistant and she is gonna kind of video me explaining what we're doing over here with the whelping station that we're setting up. All right, so we are setting up the whelping station. Um, we have the retriever collapsible kennel. You can find these at Tractor Supply. What's really nice about this kennel is that it collapses. So you can put it away after the entire whelping process and the puppy process is done. Um, that makes it very nice since we have this set up and, and we're blessed enough to have the space in our basement to, to be able to do this all inside our home, which makes it very, very nice. So we got this retriever kennel. The other thing that we have here is a whelping box that I built and um, basically I took some two by eights and some two by fours and I built rails just in case Cammie accidentally rolls over. She doesn't crush one of the puppies. They can get up underneath there and crawl out and around. That was kind of a lesson learned for us in the beginning. We lost a puppy because of that. I didn't have those rails there. So um, it, was, it was very unfortunate, but we learned from that. And now we have uh, this whelping box. Um, underneath the whelping box, you'll see the heavy duty tarp that we've got in place. This makes it very nice for cleanup. Once all the puppies have gone home and we're ready to disassemble and put this away and kind of go back to normal, basically we take this up, we throw it away. Um, we don't have to sit here and scrub uh, the pores of the concrete because you know urine, things like that will soak into concrete. So um, we try to keep everything off of that. The other thing that you can't see is that underneath the tarp, underneath the whelping box, I actually have a commercial rug that I bought from Rural King. It's about a half inch thick rubber and then it has fabric on top of that. And we use that to kind of separate and get the cami as well as the puppies up off the ground and uh, kind of get them away from the cold concrete. It's kind of acts as a barrier. Try not to get too carried away with that because cami, especially cami, and, and every dog is different, but she tends to nest. So she likes to ball it up and lay on it. And what happens is those puppies sometimes can be mistaken for a wrinkle or a roll in that blanket and she can accidentally uh, suffocate a puppy. So we try not to get too carried away with that in the beginning stages when those puppies are so small, but um, we're gonna start cleaning. We've got some antibacterial. I like wiping everything down, including the kennel and just making sure we has as um, sterile of an environment as possible, just to kind of eliminate any risk of, of a puppy getting sick or getting an infection or even mama getting an infection. So we're going to do that now and then uh, we'll go on to the next step. So, got it. Oh, so um, we have a heating pad right here to keep the puppies really warm. And here we have like a well pad that keeps the puppies really warm and soft. It's really comfy for them to lay on. So I'm going to put that in. Also, what's nice about it is my mom can put it in the washer and she can just wash it right off. Right, so we're able to rinse those off with a hose and then uh, squeeze them out and then we put them in our washer and our dryer and they're reusable. That makes it really nice. And there you have it. So the whelping pad is installed and remember we have a commercial rug separating, our, or I'm sorry, acting as a barrier between the concrete and the puppies. Then we have a heavy duty tarp um, we have the heating pad on one side, so that way mama, if she's getting too hot, can get off and then the puppies can stay on if mama needs a break. And then we have a whelp pad on top of that. There you have it. The whelping station is now set up. I guess the next step is waiting for Cammie to start having her puppy, so we're gonna keep a close eye on her and her behavior. Last time she was very good about letting us know that she was ready to have those puppies. She became extremely clingy. Uh, she was panting. And then another really good sign is to watch their temperature. Here in the next day or so, we'll start taking regular uh, temperatures 
And if you start noticing her temperature start to drop by a couple degrees rather rapidly, then you know she's in active labor and uh, you probably need to be staying with her. So that's where we're at. Next step, puppies.